Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to insert the buttons into this data grid view. Okay, so let me show you how actually it's working. You click row one and you click row two, you click row three. So here you can see that it's identifying uniquely. So let's begin with this project. Okay, so first we need to create new project. We go to file, new project, after that name button to grid view and click on OK. You can name as per your concern, just enlarge it and after that I need one grid view. Data grid view actually it is, and drag and drop it here. Okay. Just make it large, and after that, what we need is when we load, when we this page is load, we need three columns, and fourth column is for buttons. So what we where we need to code is on the load form load. So just click on this, double click on this form. And it will generate a form load event after that what we need is how many columns we need that is three okay so we need to write as data grid view columns column count how many columns we want we want actually physical columns will be three and after that name of the column dot column itself columns and which column give the index number that is zero the first column actually it is and the name of it will be in double quotes that is id and in the same way just copy this and paste it two more times adjust it and the, this one is a second index and this one is a third index and the second name will be name okay. and the, for the third one we will keep the mobile just missed one double quotes and after that the column creation is done let me show you now here we have these columns and now what we want to do is we want to insert some records so how we actually insert some record by creating an array list array list is a collection so it can actually handle different types of data as an array so we need to use this where it is using system dot collection okay so Creating the object of this by AL and just keeping it simple. New array list. Just creating the object of array list. After that, AL dot add the call to the first column. What we need is ID first is one and AL dot add to the second column. Second column. Just keep the name as Rahul. And third is L dot add. And what we need is a phone number like this. Now these data are now in this array list. Okay. So now what we need is this array lead list add this data into this grid view. So how we are going to do that? Just Type data grid view one dot rows dot add and after that what we need to add is array list dot to array just converting this to array and just execute it and here you can see we have added the first row in the same way we can add add two more rows.
and just change few values to three Rahul to J Devil, let's say Raj and we can change numbers. Okay. So now these re data records are added into the okay. So it's a similar object. Just replace it. We use the existing object, the add a list, and just execute it. And you can see we have the data now. Now the data has been added and what we need to add is the buttons. Okay. So how to add button? Let me show you. For that we need to type data grid view button. Data grid view button column and let's create an object of this new data view button column and within this and here BDN dot header text will be button and after that what we need to do is set the button dot name okay and the name will be itself button and after that we need to set the button text that is which is shown in the Data grid view. So let me type hit me. Okay. So now uh, the buttons are ready. Now what we need to do is just one few few steps more, like pdn dot use column is equal to true, and after that. Just adding this button to data grid view dot columns dot add now what we need to add is that button object so here we go now the button is in this data grid view here you can see now when I click on this I want that this will show that I have clicked on this first row and this button when I click on this it show that I have clicked on the second row when I click on this, it shows I have clicked on this third row. So how to do that? So doing that, we need to generate a cell click event. Okay. So cell click event we need to generate. Here you just go to this event and there you find cell click event. Just double click on this and it will generate a cell click event. There you need to check the condition if we are using this object. Okay. So E dot column index and we are comparing this column index with three actually this is actually what is going on let me show you okay so just comment it because without commenting we cannot execute it so e dot column index this is column index where we have those these buttons in the third third column okay so zero one two and three so I am giving it three. Okay. So now, if this condition satisfies, then what we need to do is I am just popping up a message dot show, and here I need to just write you clicked row. Okay. And and just to do is e dot row index okay. and I need one more thing because row index will be starting from zero so I am adding plus one and just convert it into the string form that's it now just execute it and here you can see when I hit this you clicked row one in the same way you clicked row two you clicked row three so 
that's it for the today's video thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon and don't forget to subscribe